Hey Jerusalem Prayer Team, this is Michael Evans here today and guys I'm so glad that we can come together and that we can pray together today. It's so so important. Why? Because prayer is powerful but even more so when you join together and when you pray together in agreement in one accord. So wherever you are today watching this video, I just want to encourage you not to just watch passively but to stand up and pray with me. Be in prayer with me. It doesn't matter if you're watching this video uh, the day it's posted or two years down the road or whenever. Just pray with me during this time. Share your prayer requests in the comments so that we can stand with you and pray about what's going on in your life. Share your prayers in the comments as well so that we can stand in agreement with you on what you're praying about. But let's stand together and pray together. A few things that we always pray for, I'm always going to be praying for these things. It's for your protection, for your peace, for your provision. And we are going to be praying for the peace of Jerusalem because that's something that the Bible commands us to pray for. And it's such a powerful blessing to be able to stand with the Jewish people and to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And so please pray with me today. But before we begin to pray, I just want to encourage you with this scripture. And it's this, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. You know, this is an a exhortation from Solomon to his son, and it's not an exhortation to be thoughtless. It's not an exhortation to, to be mindless about your life or what you're going through or what you're experiencing or about others. No, it, it's an exhortation to not trust in your goodness, but in God's greatness. You see, it doesn't matter how good you are at something. It doesn't matter how smart you are. God is infinitely better. He is infinitely more intelligent. And outside of that even, where we see just one piece of the puzzle, I don't know if you've ever put a big, you know, thousand piece puzzle. Maybe that sounds like amateur hour to you, but my wife loves puzzles. Her whole family does. And, and I got to experience and partake a little bit in some putting puzzles together with them. And they're, you know, pretty complex. But we just see one piece of the puzzle. We just see our, our present piece, here and now, what you're experiencing. Maybe you're a little bit of your past as you look through it uh, in that dimly lit glass that we call a memory. But God sees the whole picture. He sees all of it. And that is what we need to lean on. You see, when you lean on something you rely on it. You know, lean on me when you're not strong, right? Well, rely on me. When you're leaning on something, you're relying on something. And Solomon's telling us in the Bible here not to rely on our understanding, on our puzzle piece, but to trust God with our whole heart, to fully trust him, to rely on him, rely on the fact that he sees it all. You know, a pretty universal experience that I had is a breakup. I think we've all been there before where we've all had a bad breakup. I mean, maybe you haven't. Maybe you, you met your high school girlfriend and you guys fell in love and you got married and she was the only girl you ever dated and, and, and that's wonderful. But most of us have experienced a breakup before. Most of us have probably experienced a, a bad one, a little bit embarrassing one, and I know I have. I mean, I dated a girl that I thought the world of, I thought that she was fantastic, and I got dumped. And I hemmed and I hawed and I threw a fit like, like very immature boys will do. And I was really trying to hold on to my puzzle piece because I didn't see the full picture. I didn't even see the full picture of myself. And there was a lot of ways that God used that experience to grow me as a person. 
but I didn't see the full picture of the wife that, that God had for me and the family and the life that he had for me. And for her too, by the way. Don't hold on to your puzzle piece today. Don't struggle and fight and lean on it. Trust in God. Not in your understanding, but in the scope of his view and his wisdom. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just come before you today, Lord, and God, I thank you. I thank you that you allow us to approach your throne with boldness. Lord, I thank you that, that, that you listen to us during times like this, during good times, during bad times, Lord, and that, God, your insight is all-encompassing. Your, your wisdom, your knowledge, Lord, your intelligence is unfathomable, Lord. We can't, we can't imagine it, God. We can't imagine its scope. And though sometimes we feel anxious, sometimes we feel lost, sometimes we feel confused in the situation that we're in, sometimes we will hold on so desperately to our piece of the puzzle, Lord. God, you have a picture for us, a design for all of us, Lord. And Father, we trust you with it. In Jesus' name. God, I just pray for your protection today for all of these people that are praying with me. Lord, I pray that you would just surround them with, with a hedge of protection, that your hand of protection would be on their lives for themselves and for their families, Lord. God, I pray that you would be their defense, that you would be their strong tower, that you would be the wing that shelters them in times of trouble, God. Lord, let us draw close to you in good times and in bad times. But Lord, let us find shelter, find shelter in you during the storms of our life. God, I pray for your peace today. I pray that God, the Holy Spirit, the Ruch HaKodesh, that you would come and you would be bringing peace even as I pray these words, even as I, as people listen to them, Lord, bring peace to them today, Lord. Peace that transcends, that's greater than the world's understanding. It's greater than our own understanding, Lord. The world doesn't get it because it's, it's not peace after the storm like the world's peace. It's, it's the peace of Jesus taking a nap on the boat in the middle of the sea, in the middle of a storm. It is peace during the storm, God. It's super, it seeds, it, it's greater than it transcends our understanding, Lord. I pray for that peace today at work in these people's lives, in all of our lives, God. And I pray that that peace, your peace, would guard our hearts and guard our minds. I believe that means that it would guard our emotions and that it would guard our headspace, our mental space, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just thank you that you haven't given us a spirit of fear, but that the spirit that you've given us is God, the Holy Spirit. And with your Holy Spirit comes power, comes love, and comes a sound mind. And Lord, I pray for your provision today for people. Uh, I pray that during this season, during this time, that you would be meeting people right at the point of their need. Lord, you lack for nothing. You have all the resources on heaven and earth. All of it's yours already, God. It's just on loan to us. So Lord, I just pray that right now that you would meet people at the point of their need, that you would bless them. Lord, so that they can be a blessing to others, God, so that they can reflect, Lord, uh, your goodness around them in their lives, Father. Lord, I pray that you would increase them, God, that you'd increase people in talents, in character, Lord, in integrity, in wisdom, God, in boldness, so that they can step through those open doors and those opportunities that you have for them. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. 
Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, I just want to pray uh, today for all of the people that have been affected by uh, that horrible condo collapse in Florida. God, I pray that your Holy Spirit would be there in their midst. Lord, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that Jesus, you would be there with them. Lord, help the search and rescue workers be there for the families, Lord. But God, I just pray that you would make your presence known there. In Jesus' name, that you would work and you would move and you would intervene for people. You're our rescuer. You're our salvation, Lord. And I just thank you for that. God, I want to pray too for anybody who is sick, anybody who is facing ailment and illness today. And I just want to take a time out from the prayer and speak to you directly. If that's you, I want you to know that there is no contest between medicine and miracles. God uses mundane things for your health, for your benefit. Doctors and nurses and good people and exercise and rest and laughter can even do your body good. And God will use all of those things to help you. But God also works miraculously, mysteriously for you. And so follow the instructions of your doctor. Um, follow the instructions of your nurse. Do all of those things, but fight your fight in faith today believing that Jesus Christ is your healer. And let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. And God, we just pray for everybody who's fighting any type of ailment, fighting any type of illness, fighting any type of disease or injury today, Lord. God, there is nothing too big, nothing too small for you. It doesn't matter if it's cancer or if it's a backache, God. I believe that you are mighty to save. I believe that you've already paid the price for all of our human iniquity, Lord. And God, I I just thank you that you have given us the ability to pray using your name, pray in your authority. And I don't have any power. I don't have any might. But Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, for their healing in Jesus name. Lord, I pray for their healing, for their full restoration and the authority of Jesus. And by the stripes of Jesus, they are healed. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We just give you all of the credit for it, Lord. All of the credit goes to you, Jesus. And Lord, we just thank you for the people that have already uh, been touched and whose lives you've already uh, worked and moved and, and, and molded and shaped and healed and restored, Lord. I can't even fathom the amount of times that you have pulled us out of the fire. None of us will know, at least on this side of, of glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are mighty to save. God, we just pray right now for the Jewish people and the nation of Israel. We pray for peace in Jerusalem today. Why? Because, Lord, your word tells us to. And God, I thank you for the foundation of faith that you've given us uh, through what you have done in the lives and through the lives of the Jewish people. God, I thank you for the stories that you've given us, the testimonies that you've given us. Lord, the, the narrative of how you have worked through history in the Jewish people in their lives. And God, I pray a blessing over them today. I pray that you would increase them. I pray that you would defend them today. I pray that you would have uh, grace and mercy for them, Lord. I pray that you would be their caretaker, especially those elderly Holocaust survivors today, Lord. God, we've got less and less of them every day. I pray that you would be their caretaker, that they would feel the great overwhelming presence of your love, Jesus. And God, I pray, especially today, against every lie of anti-Semitism. Lord, I pray that every lie of anti-Semitism that's spoken, that is shared on the internet or on TV or, or in the governments across the, the world or anywhere, God, Lord, I pray that those lies of anti-Semitism would be revealed for what they are. God, a lie can't live in your light. 
I pray that you would shine your light on those lies of anti-Semitism and reveal them for what they are. Not just a bad idea, but evil, prejudice, racism, an attack on image bearers of God Almighty, an attack on people who are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image, in a group of people that you have a promise for. And God, I just thank you for that today. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Jerusalem Prayer Team, thank you for praying with me today. Thank you for standing with me in prayer. Just because I'm closing the prayer right now doesn't mean that the prayer is stopping. Keep praying. Uh, let, let the Lord lead you. Pray about your prayer requests. Pray about the things I've been praying about. If you see other people's prayer requests, pray for those as well. Let's stand together and pray together. It's so, so powerful. It's so important. So again, thank you and God bless you. And do me one more favor. If this video would help anybody in your life, please share it with them. Bye-bye.